Oh hi, it's Connor here. Um, I haven't done a tutorial yet, so I'm just gonna do a simple tutorial for a uh, background. Um, this is like what I will be making really, something like that, just pretty easy to make. Um, it looks something like that. That's a bit out of place, so you just have to edit it on the way. Um, so yeah. Okay, first of all, open up Cinema 4D, and I've already done all the settings, so you can just copy them down if you want. So full render. Um, I just did widescreen because that will be the um. Yeah, so just widescreen. Um, save it as anything. I normally do JPEG. I'll just give you a second to copy down the options. Okay, just go back on the video if you want to see them again. Okay, first of all, we'll start with our text. Uh, most people do it like that. They do text objects, but I'm just going to do it this way. You go to that, click text. Then this one, then click extrude nerves. And you're going to want to drag the text into extrude nerves. So you're just going to, it's going to be a bit 3D. Okay, type what you want. So I'll just do... Do what I did on the last one. Okay, um, click font, choose your font. I use something called Devil Breeze, which I quite like. Which gives it like that. Okay. When you're happy with your font and your text and everything, um, go on to click the extrude nerve, extrude nerve, oh, extrude nerves. Go to object and change this. I normally do it to about 100, so it's quite large. Okay. Now to get a better effect, you're just going to drag over these, hold Control C, and then press Control V. Just going to duplicate them. I click on the extrude nerves on this one, and you're going to want to change it to 50. <laughs> 50. Okay, just drag that to the side. Easier way of doing it is just to Z, and then just you want it centered. Then click back on extrude nerves. And you want to gonna uh, you're gonna want to go to caps, change these two to fillet cap, like that. I normally do about seven. Some people do three. I prefer seven. It's gonna look like that. Oh, before I say, click on this one, and you're gonna want to add a sky and a floor. Okay. Okay. So. It's looking good okay so far. Um there is one two other effects which I'm gonna add which really give it some effects which are really good. So I'll add them in at the end though. Okay, now you're gonna want to center that whatever. You can do it however you like. Just right, okay. Then get a cube. It doesn't have to be a cube, it can be any shape you want. Okay, just make that larger. And I'm gonna wanna turn it like that. So like that. Like so probably make it as big as you can. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna go to these ones, go to the side. Uh Z. I wanna bring that out. Okay. I suppose it's looking alright. That look. Okay, we'll do that. Um, let me just make this a tiny bit bigger. Make these a bit smaller, actually. Okay. So we got that. Okay, let me just. We'll add the effects now. Click back on this one. You want to click Effect and Ambient Occlusion and change the contrast to 15%. Then click effect again, and you're gonna go. You're gonna want to go to global illumination, which just gives it a shadow. Really, uh, this is gonna take longer when you click the render button. It's gonna take much longer to render, but I think it gives it a much better effect. So wait for that. Okay, you can see it's looking pretty better or better already. Okay really easy. Uh, you're going to want to go double click on this or file new material. Ugh. 
Okay, double click on the material. And the easiest way I do it is you're just going to want to tick the reflection. And go to this little tab and click Fresnel. So it gives them proper glossy 3D-ish effect. Okay, and I will do it, the background, as a bluish colour. Then just really drag it to there. Um, do the same for as many colours as you like. Tick Reflection, Fresnel. I'll do this pink. Oh, sorry. Yeah, make sure you actually do it on the colour. There. I'll make that one. And then one more. I'll do it like a black. And then that's going to be dragged sort of to there. Okay. So we got this. Give it a second. Yeah, it's start, a lot of effects starting to add in now, so it's going to be quite slow. Okay. Okay, you can sort of see it already from now. So it's looking pretty good, I think, for a simple one. I'll probably make an advanced one a different day. Okay, so now you're just going to want to add a light. Um... Make sure you're on that. So you can just move the light around. You can make it high. You can make it low. Depends how, yeah. I'm probably going to have it like up there. Just to make sure there's a nice light shining from one end. Sorry about this. I'll probably fast forward it. it takes a while. Here we are. Okay. Okay, yeah, you can sort of see it. Uh, I think it gives that a bit of a reflective feeling. Also, if you want, you can just doesn't really make a difference. Might make the floor look a bit better. Just do Fresnel, and then just drag that to the floor. That might make it a bit better for you. Maybe not. Okay, now to render it, you're gonna want to click this. Just make sure you got the settings. So full render. Copy them down. Just make sure that's widescreen pixels. Pixels up here save it as a JPEG uh, remember 15 contrast and this one you just leave as it's done okay and then just click this one uh, this is the other one which you saw I made and two more which was that was yeah don't worry about that okay and when this is finished then that's it really um, you just have to right click on the desktop to set as background when you want to use it, send it to people. Well, that's just really a simple background. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope I helped. Bye.